say you're going to be just fine. I prescribed some painkillers for you and you can take up to two doses every four hours. If you find that this medication isn't working, just notify the nurse and I'll authorize her to give you something stronger. You're going to be just fine. Marcus, good to see you. Welcome. Have a seat. Thank you. Free long weekend rush. Oh man, it's gonna be crazy right after the end of the day. At the family? Yeah, that's a uh, beautiful picture of my wife, Linda. It's nice. Thanks. I actually got her a professional photo shoot for her birthday two years ago. <laughs> nice. When was that? Uh, did it a couple of years ago, on uh, November the 12th. The day after Remembrance Day. <laughs> A day I can never forget. <laughs> and your son, he looks like he's eight. Yeah, uh, seven and a half right now. I know what you mean. I have a son, he's a math whiz. When he was younger, he would never forget to round up his age when he reached the six month mark. What's his name? Uh, his name is Matthew. He looks like a winter baby. Uh, right at the very end, actually. Uh, March the 15th, March the 16th, actually. And if my wife was here, she would kill me right now. <laughs> Who's this little princess? Uh, that's my daughter, Kaylee. She's six. Let me guess. A Virgo. Very close. Uh, October 27th, Scorpio. Well, don't mind me. I'm usually pretty good with guessing. It's fun. No problem. Always looking for a reason to talk about my family. So, what can I do for you today? I'm actually here on behalf of one of my clients. They've expressed an interest in moving one of their larger accounts. <laughs>
November 12th, a couple of years ago. For the bailout. No problem. It's your money. So what they say? I have a court date to set trial. So you want me to call the lawyer? Sure. That'd be great. Where to from here? Home. Straight home. Breakfast, are you? No, I'll, I'll have it for lunch. Oh. Oh, by the way, have you seen your brother? <laughs> no, he's probably sleeping.
Hello? <laughs> what up, Rico? My number one. How's school going? Good, very good. I'm killing it. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Now, more importantly, how's business? <laughs> I don't even have to work at it. I just get it. Well, that's why you're my number one. So, do you have a drop off for me? Yeah. I made arrangements to hook up with your brother. What should I expect? I think I doubled last week's count. You know, if you keep this up, I just might have to pay you a visit. Are you serious? You never show your face, man. No offense. It's all good, baby. If you do see me, you'll know I'm making you partner. That's huge, Rico. But to tell you the truth, there's, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. I, I don't think I want to be doing this forever. I mean... Hey, my brother's calling me right now, so don't stop now. I'm just about to bring you in deep. I know, but... Hello? Okay. Let's go. Ready for dinner. Conversation. What was that about? Uh, just some friends from school. It's not easy being popular. Everything all right? Yeah. Oh, I'm going upstairs to wash up. Right behind you, big guy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Mom. Where's the place? It's okay, sweetie. The boys upstairs washing up. Okay, so what's for dinner? We're having takeout. I didn't have time to cook today. <sighs> Mom, you never have time to cook. It's always some yeah. kind of headache. I know I need to cook more often. Whatever, you say that, but you're not going to. I'll try. Boys, hurry up! Food's ready! Hello? Yeah. I got the good stuff. No, no, it's the latest. Alright. I'll see you in an hour. Peace. Hey, honey. Hi, sweetie. Stop! Did you want to use Oh, what's the brain? It's our heads. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you for this food. I pray that we will be grateful and this food will be a blessing to our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So Makai, how's calculus going? Pretty good. I mean, you already know I'm good with numbers, just like you. Well, sweetie, how's school going for you? Mom, could you be any less interested in my life to ask such a repetitive parental question? What? I just want to know how school's going. Okay, seriously, Mom, you get my report cards, you're capable of going to my parent-teacher interviews, and you still know what's going on? It's an insult for you not to. I... Uh She's emotionally high maintenance, mom. Don't even try and understand her. She's impossible. Shut up, Makai. Well, she's my daughter, and I'll never leave her alone. Oh, honey, I forgot to tell you. I have to go back to the office. Back to the office? For what? Why don't you work from the home office? I keep on telling you, I can't get anything done working from home. There are too many distractions. Yeah, like Mitzi's constant talking, and mom's fabulous gourmet meals. Sorry, dad. I couldn't resist. Where are you going, Mitzi? To my room. But you haven't finished eating. Yes, I have. Honey, do you know what's going on with her? Marilyn? What's wrong with you? No, no, let me guess. You have a headache. Are you belittling me, Marcus? Do you honestly believe that I want to be in pain? You talk like... I want to have these headaches and then I'm not doing something to try to make it any better. Trust me, I wish you were the one who had my pain. But every morning, I wake up and it's me with the throbbing headaches. Jeez. That case, don't wait up. I'm going to the office. Good one, Dad.
Dare Journal. Tyson spoke to me today. Like, he actually spoke to me. I know I'm not the most popular girl in school, but I'm not a loser like some of the other girls who just can't fit in. I'm pretty. I mean, I'm not as pretty as Angelica or Marsha, but I think I do pretty well. Anyways, as I was saying, when he saw me today, he said, Hi, Mitzi. I like your hair. <laughs> I was so nervous, I couldn't even answer him. Dear Journal, today, Tyson saw me walking to my brother's car, and yes, he winked at me. He was standing with his friends. He looked over at me and winked. I smiled back. Dear Journal, Tyson sent me a message on Facebook. He asked me for my number. After he gave me his, of course. I can't believe all this is happening. Dear Journal, Tyson came over to my house today, and Mom and Dad were at home. He was so impressed with our house, but I don't see what the big deal is. Anyways, he wanted to see my room. Oh, he's so handsome. Dear Journal, I actually think I'm in love with Tyson. He just left my house again. Dear Journal, I just told Tyson about our pregnancy, and he said, Our, our pregnancy? pregnancy? We, we don't, don't have, have a pregnancy. pregnancy. You're, You're the, the one, one that's pregnant. pregnant. And, and that's, that's not, not my problem. problem. It's, it's your problem. problem. As, As a matter of fact, you need to deal with your situation. situation. And I don't, I don't care, care how, how you do, do it. it. And he hung up the phone. chilling still. I'm working on my paper. Yeah? You watched the game last night? Yo, I cannot believe they lost again. I told you, they suck. <laughs> so you got the stuff, right? You already know. Yeah, okay, let's go. I got all three magazines you wanted, and I got the textbook you needed. Oh, man, this is amazing. I had no resources for this paper. Well, let's get to it. What do you need help with? I don't even know how to format this. You gotta stop using APA. You need to use MLA, especially for the Works Cited page. What? Hey, you wanna take a break and study chem? Man, Makai, how do you do it? Here I am struggling on this paper, and you wanna study chem? Yeah. Well, you're a different guy. Quick, what's the formula for trifluoroacetic acid? C2HF3O2. Wow. See, Makai, you got it all. Money, no. girls, hand grades. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. But you could be much better than me. I'm just a little squirrel trying to get a nut. I highly doubt that. But seriously though, there's something I want to talk to you about. You're one of the only people I can talk to about this. I overheard Darius and Wellington talking about some study drug and how amazing it is. He was talking about keeping it on the low. Honestly, I really do need some help. Would you consider messing with it? Nah, bro. You're better and smarter than that. That's not something you want to fall into. Actually, we are better than that. True. Thanks, man. 
You know, I was considering it for a second. It's just because I wanted to keep up at all. Hold on a sec. Oh, okay. Hey, Ryan. I gotta run, man. I got so much to do tonight. What's up? You're not the only one who needs help. <laughs> Plus, I got an ISP to finish for chemistry and some other stuff. We don't have an ISP this semester. Nah, I, this is an idea I had and I wanted to do a little research. Who does that? Are you getting graded on it? Nah, this is just for me. Whatever. Hey, anyways, I'm out. Drop that book by my locker tomorrow, alright? Alright, later. Can you reschedule that meeting for Monday? Monday. Perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, Laurie said this one's gonna cost a lot. I imagine as much. Yeah, and he also said this one has to be the last one. He doesn't have any more get-out-of-jail-free cards. It's so hard trying to give it up knowing if I get caught, I have a way out. See, that's the problem with having unlimited access to money. It just makes you feel like you're invincible. It's true. I really should stop. No. Maybe we can just get out of this business. Just get a real nine to five. <laughs> yeah, we could be financial consultants. No, I mean like out of the financial world altogether. I mean, we have enough money to live on. Leave finances. I don't think I could do that. I was born to deal with numbers. Yeah, born to deal with numbers, not steal numbers. <laughs> Ouch. The truth is, I know better. But for some reason, I don't do better. Yeah, but that happens to the best of us, Marcus. Don't kick yourself over that. I mean, there's a lot of things that I want to do, but I just don't do. Yeah, and there's a lot of things that I don't want to do, but those are the things I find myself doing. That's everybody. Hey, check it out. HBS's server's down. We should probably check and see if their assets are secure. As a courtesy, of course. Of course. Another day, another bedpan to change. That's the good part. Yeah, mm. and my personal favorite, giving Mr. Rogers his 10 o'clock bath. <laughs> <laughs> you know you love bathing every inch of his 87 years of sexy flesh. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Henry, what's going on for today? Well, no new patients today. You have Mrs. Robido, Mr. Morgan, and Ms. Goldstein. Ms. Goldstein has been waiting for you all morning. Uh. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Okay. See you. 